So here's how to add a clickable link to YouTube video description. It's very easy to do. In fact, I did this video and I wanted to redo it because there's one important step that you just might be missing out on. So if you take a look here, I have four links to my main website and obviously it's just going to be this.com, www. Then the important ones are going to be the HTTPS. The first thing you want to do is make sure you add HTTPS. I'll show you right now. I'll open this in another window. It's just a two second video I did just for demo purposes. Video. Okay, so let's scroll down. If we click on more here, you're going to notice that we have marketing aisle. These don't show up, but these are clickable. This is exactly what we want. And it's because we have HTTPS, you know, or you could do www with it if you want, but that's going to be the main difference. So go ahead and make sure you add HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash in front of your URL. And if it still doesn't work like it should, but if it doesn't, there's one more thing you need to do. So when you're in your YouTube studio, what you want to do is go to your actual studio here and then go to settings. Okay. From settings, you go to channel and then feature eligibility. So you're going to want to make sure that you're eligible or enabled for advanced features. As you're going to see right here, external links in video descriptions. This is a big reason why I think a lot of individuals in the past were saying I did the HTTPS, but I still weren't able to add external links that are clickable. This is going to be why this needs to be enabled. As it says right here, you need an intermediate features enabled. And with this, you get video verification, you need a valid ID, and of course, channel history. So that's going to be the main important thing here. The first thing is going to be the HTTPS. If it's still not working, it's because you don't have the advanced features yet. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope that solves your problem. Uh, and if anything else, like I said, that's what the comments are for. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.